All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a card trick that is going to be a little more difficult than most of the other ones that I've been posting. So um, I just know a lot of you have been asking for something a little more advanced. So anyways, here's what it is going to look like. All right, so to start it off, you could have the spectator just pick any random card from the middle um, of the deck. It really doesn't matter which one it is. And in this case, I'm not actually going to look at it. So I'll just be showing you guys the card that you stopped me at. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to go ahead and stick this somewhere in the middle of the deck and then I'll get the pack mixed up and then I'll cut the deck somewhere so I can pick four random cards from the place that we cut at and the thing about these cards is they're actually going to be helping me into deciding uh, which card you picked so let's say we take the first card here and the first card tells me that your card is going to be a red card the card below that tells me that your card is going to be a heart and the card below that is going to tell me the value. So in this case, your card should be a four. So uh, these three cards right now have told me that your card is the Ace of Spades, right? So obviously, this isn't your card, but what happens is when I stick the Ace and put it into this pile, give it a snap and also a twist, as you guys can see, the three cards below it have now changed into the other Aces. Okay, so obviously you're kind of wondering uh, where your card is, but in this case, let's say we take, maybe it's a top card over in this pile, as you can see, this one's an ace. The card below that is also an ace. And the card below this is an ace. And the card below that is an ace. So obviously now we're only left with one card here. And that is going to be your card. So this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And if you want to, know how to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so to start everything off, what you want to do is start by getting the four aces in this position. So this way you have the ace of spades um, second from the top when they're face up. So that way, when they're on top of the deck, they should be, uh, the ace of spades should be in the third position. So make sure you do that and then come back, and then you guys are going to be basically ready for the trick. So uh, the first thing you want to do is you can have the spectator go through and pick any card that they want, and you can tell them they can look at it. And then as they're kind of holding it, uh, they're kind of being misdirected. All you want to do is take the cards and cut them so this way you get a pinky break right above those four aces. So. Uh, the next thing you do here is you take the card back, in this case it's the Jack of Diamonds, and you're not going to really be knowing the card um, until the end of the trick. So you take the card and say, look, I'm going to go ahead and just put it in the middle. In reality, you're just putting it in that pinky break, and you can let it go, sticking it in there, pushing the card down, and then getting that thumb break, and then controlling their card to the top. So I'm not really going into too much detail about this, because this guy is the easier movements, this is kind of more of advanced tricks so at this point. You do whatever you can to move their card to the top, and then you can do a false cut and say, look, I'm going to take the next four random cards, and they're going to help me out um, with finding your card. So I'll leave the link up on the screen for that false cut. And then you take the next four cards, and you're going to put the deck down, leaving it towards like the right-hand side of your body. You'll see why you do that in a second. But in this case, you have the four cards, you have three aces, and you have their card on top. But, but you need to get their card into the third position. Uh, so what I did was the performance is I say, look, I'm going to take these four cards and then I kind of just grab the top card and leave it to the left and then take the middle cards and do this action. And then I put this packet on top. So now their card is going to be in the third position. And then from here, you tell your spectators, all right, so the top card tells me that your card is going to be a red card. Or actually, hold on, we don't know yet. But the thing is, is what I'm doing here is as I'm telling them that, I kind of just get a pinky break on the bottom, or a pinky pull down actually, of the bottom card. So you take that card, the very bottom card, get a pinky pull down, so this way you can get the top three cards. You flip it over and say, look, so the first card here tells me your card is going to be a red card. And from here, you do the same exact thing. You flip the, the triple packet over, put the card down, and then you do the next one. So you say, look, the next card tells me it's going to be a diamond. So you flip it over, and then you do the double lift again. You flip the double over, leave their card on the table, and then you do a single lift and say, look, so the next card tells me the value, and it's going to be a jack. So obviously, these three cards are going to tell me your card is the Ace of Spades. At this point, the spectator is obviously knowing you're kind of joking around because your card isn't the Ace of Spades, and you kind of leave it on the table, so you tell them, all right, so, you know, obviously your card isn't the Ace of Spades, but the thing is, is that now your card should disappear from this packet, and you leave the Ace, you flip it over, and you do whatever, like, gesture you want to do, snap your fingers, flip it over and say, look, your card's actually disappeared from this packet. And you do an Elms account, and I'll leave the link up on the screen for that. 
and what you've just done is brought their card to the top of this packet. So from here, their card being on top, you get a thumb break between the top card and the rest of the packet, and so you know what, maybe your card is on top of the deck. So this is why you have it to the right, and this is kind of the hard part of the trick. In one swift motion, what you're doing is you're saying, okay, so you know what, maybe your card is on top of the deck, and as you're coming over and you flip this card up, the spectator is going to be focusing on this card, so you say, look, maybe your card's on top, and as you flip it here, you're moving the right hand over, dropping the thumb break, and saying, actually, you know what, this is an ace. And what I've just done is I've dropped the rest of the cards on top. And you say, what, maybe it's the next card down. And you keep showing them that the next cards down are actually all aces. And you say, you know what, maybe the single card I have left in my hand is your card. And you flip it over and you show it to the spectator. And uh, this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching.